do. What are we going to do? What we do every day, Zenith. We're going to take over the world to the lab. No, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Factorio Break the Game. We, uh, we're sitting here and we're looking at numbers and we're looking at what we need to do uh, still. And the list has get sh got much shorter, hasn't it, Zenith? It has. We're, we're pretty much at the point where um, all we've got left to make, really, in terms of all the, I guess you'd say, the pre-.12 stuff, all we've got to make left is the sulfur battery build and processing build, processing unit build. And once we've done those, which won't be too much work, we're on to actually manufacturing the stuff for the rocket. So the low density structures, we've already got our rocket fuel built in, uh, our rocket control units, and of course our satellites. So yeah, it's I, for some reason, thought we had a whole lot more to do. We're, we're well, still getting to that point where... We, we've been grinding on this save for so long and... Yeah. You know, when, when you get into a big um, project, sometimes you feel like, you know, you're just getting nowhere with it. But we have been making some really awesome progress. That isn't to say that we're nearly done, um, because the amount of testing is going to be phenomenal. And of uh, course, we need to go and build, you know, 20 to 30 outposts or something to actually feed the thing. So Yeah, there's going to be an epic live stream. Yeah. Some stage. Yeah. But what I'm doing right now, ladies and gentlemen, I may have noticed that I am um, just building my first rocket silo. So, Zed, if you want to come with and Oh, we're going to wait for all the things. Wow, that's a bit of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I've, okay, there's the rest of concrete. I was going to say, I had 996 concrete. Okay, we've got all the things. Um, let, let's go place our rocket silo in an approximate position. Okay. Uh, well, I need to get used to taking trades. Hello. ho Because we... The goal here is kind of one rocket per minute. That's, that's kind of the, the numbers that we're aiming towards. And... I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to get there. I'm determined that we're going to get there. And there's lots of places where this factory can fail, and that's going to be the entirety of the fun. Oh, dear. Mm. So, so much. So many little things left to do. Yeah. Like, for so. example, we need to um, set up uh, the um, circuit conditions. Everything we've recently put in. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yeah, that's 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 great, isn't it? So it's gonna be somewhere here ish. Depending. That we're gonna place the rocket silo. So we'll just craft that up now. And we were talking about how much we actually need. Now um each of these you require multiples of them. So the reason why we're crafting the silo is firstly to mark a milestone. Because this is the first silo that I built in this world. And also to try and suss out how many of these uh, low density structures, rocket fuels and rocket control units we're actually going to need. Where are you, Zerf? You ready? You ready? Where, where are you? You're, uh, you're all the way up there. Um, yeah. Well, look at this, mate. I've, I've come up with a genius idea. Oh, latency hiding. Wow, our, um, our iron mine is um, running low by the looks of it. Not great. What are you doing? This is the uh, the second pack station that, that'll be the Pax Crusher North because it's the crush is getting big enough now that we need to I think now I had an, an idea about a monorail mm, I like that idea internal monorail I was even thinking about doing it in a loop <laughs> no comment okay so what I was thinking of is placing it somewhere around here 
rocket silo. So to do one of them, you need ten, and to get to a hundred, I believe it's it's one percent a go round. So basically, we need a hundred of each. So if we wanted to launch one rocket every minute, we need one hundred rocket fuel coming out every minute. We need one hundred low density structures every hang minute. On, hang on, hang on. Do you mean? Because I've this is the first time I've ever used the rocket solo. Like, <laughs> I'm not because in my world, like that's just something that I haven't even, you know, I'm not up to that part yet. Because I've just have you got, got some so beacons on you? Other stuff. Uh, yeah, I got a few. I got ten. Can you pack as many around this as possible? Um, There's seventy in the the network. So yeah, keep doing what you're doing. That's there. That won't reach. Okay. Oh, I can just go there then. Now, what was I saying? I don't know. You were telling yeah, so, so I'm guessing the bar fills up. So for every 1%, we need 10 low density structures, yeah? That's and correct. Fuel. Right. However,. You may notice so actually, something. So we need actually a thousand per minute. Yeah, no. Not not a hundred. Well, no, no, we don't. Because of the productivity, but so the productivity is going to save our bacon. I like bacon. It should be a food group all of its own. Why is that not connected? Ugly. Be ugly, I don't care. Okay, so we're going to, if my calculations are correct, I've just done a little bit of math, we're going to need just over 700 per minute of each of the things. Um, yeah. Check this out. 940. <laughs> the crafting speed is off, off the tap. Oh. Woo! If we want to, wait, does that, oh, did I just spot something new in Factorio? What? I'll spot something. Yeah. What are you on about? No. Oh. Why is it only showing us three seconds crafting speed? What do you mean? It says three seconds is the crafting speed, is the the crafting time. In the rocket silo. Yeah, in the rocket silo. So if you open an arm, yeah, and for the for the rocket percentage point or whatever we're calling it, rocket yeah. progress, it takes three seconds. Ten of each of the density structures, the rocket fuel, and the rocket control unit. Yeah. Yeah. So is it three seconds or is it like it's three seconds per one percent? Yeah. So it would be 300 seconds usually, but because we've got the crafting speed up, I think uh, well, it was plus 940%. Mm-hmm. So, but we, we won't be able to have it at that sort of ratio because if we're belting this in, we're going to need to run belts along this thing. Yeah, I, knew, I know that. I, I know that. I know that. Um, I was actually thinking about bots. Let's work. Like run run them on belts to like here, and then bots the remainder. Yeah, that could work. Because we can we can do like um, this kind of business. <laughs> oh, it's terrible, and I love it. This kind of business around it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. Okay, so what do we got to do? We, uh, hmm. We're not doing it today, just by the way. No, no. Uh, don't don't no. get excited on me, man. But this this is pretty epic. So we've just done our solar panel build. Uh, we need to wait on the 
accumulator build until we do our batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, what could we do now? We could do the low density structures, uh, and that requires steel plate, copper, and plastic. Do you want to go do a build of that? Or do you want to do the uh, sulfuric? I um, I really don't mind. At this stage, I am pretty cooked. I've had a long day. And, yeah, I'll just help. LDS you, you can You can take over the episode from now on, and you can do the majority of the commentating too. I just right. sit back and enjoy the ride. No right. worries. Well, if you just stand on the tracks. Yeah, no. <laughs> now, so, um, what's our ratio for the low density structure? 10, 5, 5. Okay, so two, 2 to 1, basically. And crafting time of 30 seconds. So we're going to beacon the hell out of it. Um, and because of that crafting time, I think we'll only need one belt of each of the plastic and copper and then two belts of steel we could do oh uh, yep yeah. well that adds up to three and one for an output line we go into the yep. test rig are we both thinking the same thing here yeah, excellent um don't deconstruct that we have got a blueprint of it yet yeah okay. now so can you actually come here for a moment? Where are you? Oop. Yeah, keep this safe. Don't let me erase it. Oh, I put it over here just for now. <gasps> oh, I still have everything being requested for the rockets. <laughs> no bots, I don't want a thousand of all the things. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Take it all back. <laughs> All back, it's all ruined, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's all wrong. Now, we could get funky here. I love funky. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love it when you talk dirty to me. Talk, talk, talk oh, dirty to me. Oh, baby, oh, baby. <laughs> oh, with your three input belts, get out of town. You know, this this is becoming a regular occurrence, this disgusting <laughs> run it underneath the assembler thing. Isn't it? I love it. Can can I suggest one? No. <clears throat> Alright then. Bugger off. <laughs> no worries, have a shit one. You know, no, it does what? actually make a lot of sense though. It the, does. The rank implementation. It does. Now, because it lets you use fast inserters. Now, we have an, a choice. We can either make this thing really long or we can do it moderate size, but like do like, you know, one similar to what we did with the reds, how we have like one module, then another one next to it. Uh, I like putting modules next to each other. Okay. Well. But what we should do is uh, aim this to be one compressed belt of structures. No, oh, wait, we're not even going to need that many of them, are we? How many did you work it out? A thousand a minute. Is that right? Uh, well, that's that's not including the productivity module, so it's about 720 or 30. So if we aim for a thousand a minute, we'll be safe, won't we? Oh, absolutely. Well, let's right, let's right. do a thousand a minute. Okay. Let, let's, uh, let's do that. Um, I don't have any of the things that I need. So... Is this Actually, handy little um, space for a substation? This little four, four square here? Does that work? Now, can we... What, no. what's, what's happening here? Talk us through it. Be a bad uh, commentator. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was thinking of making this the output. So having that like that. Why having that the output there? Because then it's just a thinner build, but it doesn't really matter. Now nah, I like it when you run it, run it this way, because what we can do in here now. Yeah. You with me. And that powers this entire block. Yeah, I like it. Huh? So, let's copy that, and then Hold on. paste that there. Get rid of the substation. And. 
have the next substation. Hang on, let's paste it again. Perfect. Nice. Nice. So, the, the thing is with this is that we're going to have, we, we can go two ways. We could put another. Um, yeah, you talk, can... I'm going to go fix something. Or prepare what something. Okay, we could have, at the moment, we've got one line of, hang on, what do, what do we require here? One line of copper, one line of plastic, and we've got one line of steel as well, but it requires twice as much steel. So the ratio should be two to one of the other two. So we should really have two steel belts going in, shouldn't we? I think whatever you think. I agree. <laughs> I think that's a great idea, Zeta. I, I think so too, Root. You're, so you're, you're just knocking them dead right now. You just keep, keep doing your thing. They you have... keep putting your thing down. And um, I'll be joining you again shortly. It's this business. A anytime I walk through my factory, I spot these little curvy belts. And yeah, Han Hansik was just wreaking havoc on it, man. Yeah, Hansik. Yeah. You don't sound convinced. Colonel Will would be turning over in his grave. He started this world so well. It's just gone to shit since. It has. Now, we're going to put the accumulators on the other side. So, what do you... Hold on. Ah, I see. So we're going to have theoretical 10, 10, and 20 of steel. Yes. Theoretical. Just Correct. just working in whole numbers. Yep. Oh gee. Okay. Now that's that's our that's our build. Um running out loud. Where where did Okay. Just need to request some stuff. Wait, let's let's add some lights to it, number one. Um Now we've screwed up the substation placement. Can blame that on you because reasons. Uh huh. Um, but that that to me looks fairly good. So obviously two input belts of steel, one of uh, plastic, and one of the other thingy. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a good day too, by the sounds yeah. of it. Yeah, mate. On yeah. So that's steel. Uh, oh, oh, we're under attack. Yeah, I was just about to say, we have flashing things. Why Ooh. do we have flashing things? This, this is not a regular occurrence. My brain tells me there's something out of place. I wonder what it could be. I wonder where they're from as well. Yeah, where are they attacking? Well, they're attacking up near your rocket silo. <laughs> Imagine if they went and took that out. Ah, oh, anger. Yeah, I'm really... Okay, no. I'd go and um, MDK them. Yeah? Yeah. Now there's an obscure movie reference. Ten points to the person who gets it. MDK? You don't know what an MDK is? Hang on. I'm, I'm thinking. Oi! Why did... It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Just because there's a stupid oil pump refinery thing out there. There you go. Yes, but now I don't know where I'm up to. <laughs> Come on, quick. We need to turn it on. We're, we're getting to uh, to 20 minutes. Okay. Hurry up. Stop faffing. I ain't doing shit. Uh, so where are we at now? Oh, okay. Okay, so as soon as they start delivering things, they're going to send it down the tubes. Roger. Uh, so 
that right? Yes. Okay, well, that's a fairly long build now. We just need to um, do the majiggies. Those ones? Yep. Oh. This, this is going to be copper. I must say, the test rig was one of my better moments of brilliance. I have many moments of brilliance. I think this is one of the better ones. Many? Yes, many. Alright, I'll give it to you this time. Now, that's beaconed, moduled. Well, we're, we're, we're producing. Well, we will be in a minute. Got all the modules in? I believe so. So, now, we're not going to have much uh, plastic coming in, are we? It may be limited. Because uh, that's going to the red circuit, so I'm just going to cut that off. Uh, I already have. Oh, okay. That's what I went to fix. What are we missing? Plastic. Why are we missing plastic? Ooh, it's just not getting through. Here we go. That's starting to come in now. So, what are we? What are we at? Where are we? <laughs> Eighty a minute. Nice. Ooh, we've well, got a little bit of work to do here, champ. Yep. So, uh, what did we say we need? Are we going to aim for a thousand to be safe? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do something like let's work this out for let's say. Uh, what are we gonna? What are we gonna achieve here? Well, now because it because of the long craft time, it's really hard to gauge how many we're getting per minute. Um, but now it thinks it's up at about two hundred ish. Yeah. Uh -huh. But basically, if we can work out, let's say this is two hundred per minute, all we have to do is copy this across sideways five times. Uh huh. And we're not even close to using all the copper. Wow. We just completely and drilled our steel supply. Did we? Oh, it doesn't seem like it's being. Okay, I see the problem. It's not actually being put back in. <laughs> it's not being put in fast enough. Uh, can we. Yeah, good job. We're going to need a few more of those. Uh, no, it's because it was set to a 1,000 in the network. So let's make that 5,000. Knock yourself out, champ. You're always adjusting my limits. <laughs> just, just don't push my boundaries like this. So if we can get more steel in, we'll be, uh, we'll be sitting pretty. Yep. That's where this is uh, slowing up. Far out, it burns. It burns the steel. Uh, just because we didn't have any coming in. But where, where are we sitting? 136, 160, 120. Yeah, we got. Yeah, it's hard to hard to test without the steel properly coming in. Um, but. Uh, I um these inserters are not grabbing. Which? Look, this one here, it's just twitching. This one too. See where they're just running past? Yep. It's not great. Uh you know what that means? That means oh, we're going to have to fully saturate this. So let's not make this long enough to eat the entire line and that way there will be a backlog so what cut it off about here ish or something well no i don't think we need to i think it's just that we're not feeding enough steel in because as you can see we're not using up all the plastic or copper so it's just it's just an issue with input at the moment which is right. getting a little bit better as we you want to go put some more smart inserters on the drawer yep 
Uh, we've, we're actually taking that entire line. Are we? Yeah. If we this want more, we need more steel smelting. This concerns me. Yeah, that is... All, all of a sudden... I'm wondering, do we have enough steel smelting up north? Well, let's have a look on the minimap. Yeah, we got shit tons. <laughs> what? Steel smelting? Yeah, look at it. We only have one little module of steel smelting down here. So, okay. Next question. If we... Well, let, let's see if we can just buffer it for a second. So just going to drain the rest of this line down here. What are you draining? Where? Just at the end of the steel bus. What for? Just to get as much into the system as quick as possible. Oh right, you're fully going to kill it then. Oh man, come on, this is a super long episode. Everyone gets a bonus today. 26 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get it finished by 30. Now, yeah, we just need, it's just our steel production. That's, uh... Garbage? Garbage. Real, real garbage. That's all right. Let buffer for a little bit. We should be okay. Wow, that is absolute rubbish, isn't it? Huh? What what are we producing? Uh, about four hundred a minute steel. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your problem. Absolutely useless. <laughs> that is, yeah, not much, is it? No. Um, and if we want to create, yeah, a thousand of these a minute, that's that's yeah, ten thousand steel. Right there. So. We're saying if these are doing, let's let's give these the benefit of the doubt and say this is going to do 500 per minute, which is not. But then we duplicated that build up in the crusher and one, two, twelve times, yeah, yeah. So that's six thousand. Oh Jesus, it's tight. And that's giving it the benefit of the doubt. Right. Yeah, man. I think we need more smelting. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> uh, Fuck. <laughs> Tell us your real thoughts, mate. Okay, it's fucking stupid. I'm gonna go play Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, so the inserters can grab once the, the belt's loaded. Saturated. Yeah. Uh, so th this will push up over 200, just. Yeah, so I think we need about five times this. Yep. Alright. Well, that's that question answered, um, and it's created problems for us. Yeah, that's that's a, a bit of an eye opener. I think uh, we need to really go back, maybe crunch some numbers, and have a serious look at our um, our smelting. Crunch numbers, please. We, we do not think about things; just, we wing it. <laughs> just wing it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, no, okay, but we've we've got the build that we need. Which is yep. the important thing. So th this is going to be the low density structures build, uh, times five. Christ Almighty, that's a lot. Okay, well, special bonus episode for you today. Thirty minutes long. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's um, it's not been a lot of fun for me because the crusher is deficient in certain areas. I think the crusher's <laughs> the crusher has skipped leg day <laughs> in there somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Is it? it 
my instinct is telling me that it's going to be puny. But that's a future me problem. So thank you very much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode as we continue to try and break the game.